architecture for one, so Archviz, more and more people are moving from, you know, they're, they're, I wouldn't say they're ditching their offline renderers, but they're definitely being made aware like, oh, wow, like this can be done. This can save us so much time. And the interactiveness of it is also a huge perk because like now architecture clients can just actually go around and interactively change the color of wall, change their floors and get a much better visualization of, you know, whatever building or house they want to build, right? So there's a huge market for things that are completely not film or game related at all. Um, just it just the, the whole market of visualization as we know it is starting to kind of turn their eyes towards Unreal. Um, this can be like, you know, for, for car manufacturers or just like you're getting, trying to visualize what your car seats are going to look like. You get the fancy Italian leather or just get the default gray cloth that everyone has. Um, it, it's just super nice to get a, a, a live feedback with great lighting when no compromise in high frame rate. There's no, what it's, it's kind of what you see is what you get in every aspect. And so this is just, I, I don't even think we know entirely in in five years how many other industries are going to be using is the medical industry yeah. going to be using this um i don't even think we've, yeah. we've even imagined the possibilities at this point so i think there's a, a, a quite a few people are going to be making a lot of money i think in the next few years if they want to figure out something like oh hey this is there's a use case for this we can use this what i think though that it's going to revolutionize coming from somebody who's done a lot of commercial work in the past is uh you know commercials honestly commercials music videos any short form content uh, especially high budget short form content where usually the budget is because a company moves traveling all over a country to do a 30 second spot in 10 different locations i think clients are also going to get really uh they're going to get really clued in to the idea that you can do a lot of this stuff just in a virtual production stage. 